So, after a brief introduction on what, you know, a histone is or a nucleosome is, I thought I'd take it down a notch. <clears throat> And before we get into the histones um, and the nucleosomes, let's take a step back. Now, as mentioned, um, during the mitotic phase is the only time that we will have, you know, the DNA condensed to such a position. So the first thing we should look at is what? The structure of the nucleus. This will help us understand what really goes on during mitosis and why this condensation happens. So it'll just be something brief. So if this is the nucleus, then we have, you know, the nuclear membrane. And then we have the secondary type membrane, which we'll call the lemon's gauze. Then we've got these uh, nuclear pores. And now, here's the thing, right? We have chromatin. Chromatin is kind of like a uh, mesh. Now, some people say it um, is the infant structure, but others don't. You know, that is chromatin, basically. That's basically how we see it. It's just there. Um, there's um, heterochromatin and euchromatin. The more condensed the DNA, then the less transcription activity we see. Thus, heterochromatin is usually peptide sequences um, and it is considered it is considered, and we'll revisit this, it's considered inactive. If it is inactive, then we would say that it is more condensed, okay? Because then there's no access for it to be read, whereas your chromatin is less condensed. And it is active in transcription. Whereas euchromatin is usually in the center. But earlier, let's just say, are more towards the periphery if they are being actively transcribed or uh, the first to be transcribed. So that's the difference. Now here's a little cool um, niche we should know about um, euchromatin. So euchromatin facts, okay? When you're staining it, when you're staining a chromosome, staining is poor. You can't see much, okay? Um, even though uh, it is thought to contain normally functioning genes. Now, this region of the chromosome is very diffuse during the interphase and um, it's usually considered active. So it's diffuse at the interphase. Okay? And what else? It's presumably actively, so we presume active 
DNA transcribing. Now, heterochromatin. Now, heterochromatin is a little bit tricky because there's been a lot of research saying, you know, it's not really inactive, it can be active. There are debates that maybe the histone one that we said, you know, that kind of brings it together into that condensed form doesn't move so that it can't open up to be read. So there are things like that. But um, usually um, heterochromatin, when you stain it, it stains dark stains really dark, okay, throughout the whole cell cycle, okay, and it's usually inactive, but as I said, recent research has shown that there are, you know, ways of saying it. Now, there's also two types. There's constitutive, okay, and constitutive um, chromatin is usually fixed, irreversible, in both form and function, okay? And not only that, um, the Y chromosome, the Y chromosome, has regions of constitutive heterochromatin, okay? Now, so that's one type, constitutive. Another type is facultative. Now, facultative has the ability to revert to euchromatin. So, in this in this um, sense, the X chromosome is made up of facultative facultative chromatin. So let's go down to um, my professor slides. So as we see here, oops. So let's see. Can we start from there? No, I guess not. Not too very Mac friendly I am. Okay, so as we see here, we see that the um, heterochromatone, heterochromatin, sorry, is in the periphery, like I said, and the euchromatin is pretty much over here. And as you can see, the heterochromatin is stained really dark, right? You see it? It's dark sections. But keep in mind, these dark sections over here can be just inactive or very condensed um, euchromatin. See, that's still up in the air. But just so you understand, chromatin is basically like a matrix kind of picture it like a cytoskeleton of the nucleus, even though it's really not. That's the way it's kind of spread out. So as you see, the periphery all around here has heterochromatin. The inside has euchromatin. Now, as, as stated in the slide two here, that during the interphase, it's, the DNA is less compact than in mitosis. And as we said, it's because we assume that the DNA is actually transcribing. This is why is being transcribed, sorry. This is why euchromatin um, is very diffuse during the interphase. Whereas in the M phase, the mitotic phase, it's extremely compact, so that way it can split. Okay? Okay, so let's um, go to the next slide.